Hi, welcome to Education Leaves. In this video, topics you are going to learn are, what is change management? Four principles of change management, and importance of change management. Let's start the video. Change management is the systematic approach which deals with the transition or transformation of different organizational objectives, processes, core values, or technologies. The project development process and all the other factors related to the project are not that stable, and have to be changed every so often because of the shifting requirement of the market. That's why project managers have to organize a process of change management in their development strategy, to ensure that it can handle any changes, that come in the way of their development process being a success with these. Now come to the four principles of change management. Successful change management depends on four core principles. They are 1. Understand change. 2. Plan change. 3. Implement change. 4. Communication change. Let's explore these along with some tools and techniques that you can use to put them into operation. 1. Understand change. To strongly promote the benefits of the change, you need to figure out them yourself. So, think about, why do you need to change? What are your key objectives? What will the benefits of the change be to the organization? How will it affect people positively? And what will people need to do to manage the change successfully? It can also be important to think about what the negative results of not making the change would be. Beckett and Harris change equation explains that, for change to work, there has to be enough discomfort with the old way of doing things. People should feel confident that the new approach will be better, and that there's a straightforward way to get there. 2. Plan change. Effective change doesn't just appear by chance, and any plan you make should be right for your business. How change projects are managed can vary from organization to organization. Some have very definite change procedures, while others are more visible and flexible in their approach. However, you will need to consider. Sponsorship. How will you secure, undertake and use high-level encouragement and sponsorship of the change? Involvement. Who is best positioned to help you design and execute the change? For example, will you need outside expertise? Or can you use domestic resources? Support. Change is most efficient when you can win support from people across the business. Impact. Finally, think about what success should look like. How will you predict and assess the impact of the change that you need to make? And what goals do you need to achieve? 3. Implement change. As we've seen, there are many strategies that you can choose to put your change into practice. For example, Cotter's 8-step change model explains how to inject a sense of urgency into your actions so that you build momentum and inspire everyone to get behind your changes. Meanwhile, the change curve evokes you to be mindful of people's feelings, while putting your plan into operation. It shows the stages that we all go through during organizational change, from shock and denial, to fully investing in the fresh approach. The following steps can help you implement change positively. Ensure that everyone involved in the changes, understands what needs to happen, and what it means for them. Agree to the success criteria of your changes, and make sure that they're regularly measured and recorded. Map and identify all the key stakeholders that will be involved in the change. Identify any training needs that must be discussed in order to implement the change. Hire change agents, who'll help to put the new practices into place, and who can act as role models for the fresh approaches. Change people's habits, so that the new practices become the norm. 
clarify that everyone is supported throughout the change process. 4. Communicate change. Communication is a very important component of change management. The change that you want to achieve has to be clear and appropriate, so people understand what you want them to do, and why they need to do it. But you have to set the right mode so that you get the emotional reaction you're expecting for. Also, be sure to practice good stakeholder management. This will assure that, you give the right people the right message, at the correct time, to get the help that you need for your project. The ADCAR change management model is a useful tool, that you can use to help communicate your change. It describes five things you should try in your communications. Awareness of the need for change. Desire to take part in, and support it. Knowledge of how to change. Ability to change. Reinforcement to sustain the change in the long session. Let's move on to, importance of change management. Ease the pressure and create a simple process. In recent years, companies are seeing change management play a significant role in implementing new technology. Many people worry that as technology advances, it will take over the workplace. This often causes a struggle to change in firms looking to implement new technology. By encouraging employees to better understand change, you create a system that is more open-minded, and free to change. Maintain your organization's time and resources. Change management is a proper way of communicating with employees. It tells them why change is happening, what it will sound like for them, and how it will finally contribute to them in the end. When employees are more interested, the transition can take place more quickly, and ultimately maintain your organization's time and resources. Create a more versatile and innovative workplace. By opening this line of communication in your organization, you fix a standard. With time, this will build up the trust your employees have in the firm and the decisions top management is making. Setting a standard for change early on, and managing consistency can help you create a more versatile and innovative workplace. If you want to read in details or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. You can support my work by liking the video, and subscribing to my channel.